And welcome to the channel. This is a channel about cross stitch uh, mainly and sometimes a bit of diamond painting and yeah bits and pieces of hobbies. Um, I uh, as I told you last time would probably not film every month since I am at the moment a monogamous stitcher. So, um, but then again, I had some progress on some other pieces, some new starts and so on. So I thought I could show you where I'm at with my gamer. And at the same time, show you a bit what I've been doing the last, uh, last two months, I think. Um, but let's start with uh, gamer. I think a bit of personally, personal update will come in later just to i'm just going to try to see if i can get her out of her hoop um so gamer uh she is now at 62 percent i think last time i filmed she was at 50 percent so something has happened on her and yeah so there's a lot of progress at them uh, been done on her i have been as I've said before, I work um, all over the place now. I work in uh, with the thread one at a time and I try to see if I can finish off the thread. So, and if I like a color, I just finish uh, work with the color. Um, and I do it across the entire piece, as you can see here. This, a bit of progress all over the place <laughs> so um it's also a bit because she's uh, at some place she's really really uh confetti heavy so sometimes i have uh, i have a goal of trying to stitch 340 something stitches every day in order to have her finished by 31st of december um and just sometimes I I decide to stitch 150 confetti stitches and then something easy like up or over here she's it's just block stitching. But I think compared to last time, um, he wasn't really done. You could see a bit of his face. You can see there's a bit of a little. Stitch, I think it's called, I don't know, my daughter knows. And I'm just looking, just hang on. I think I have the entire picture somewhere. Or did I? I thought I did. Um, oh, it's on. One moment. <laughs> okay, it was on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> typical. Uh, as you can see here, uh, he's coming in a bit. And then all that I need to make now is this down here. So I'm just going to take her up again. And it, I don't know if you can see it, how close this is to the mock-up. It's, I, if I ever want to stitch one of these big pieces again, um, and I really, really love the pieces from a Gecko Roost. They are, they are not um, Deceivers, they don't deceive you as uh, with uh, the front cover and so on. You pretty much get what you see, so uh, so I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, there's uh, I think one hundred and twenty-seven thousand stitches in her now, so uh, or twenty-four thousand, I think. Um, so there's around seventy thousand stitches left on her. Still a lot. But uh, hopefully it's durable. Um, and today it's the 1st of June, so I have six months left of the year. 
and should approximately clock in around 12,000 stitches a month. Um, yeah, and I'm going to <laughs> talk a bit about if this is going to be feasible to do um, afterwards. So, but that was uh, my progress on her and I really, really enjoyed working on her. Um, she's been... She's been in progress now for three years, I think. So um, as I got this as a Christmas present from my husband and he always says that this is the Christmas present, which has held the longest time. <laughs> so he's probably right. Um, yeah. I I have some uh, sometimes uh, a bit of uh, boredom with her because it gets it gets really really uh yeah tedious sometimes to work on her so in one of my uh, my boredoms i had a bit of work on my let's see she's here uh bella filipina uh, not much but a bit i think i had a thread or two extra on her. It's not much, but uh, yeah. Progress is progress, right? So um, I just uh, I just needed to work a bit on her. And as you can see, she still looks a bit funny. It's her wings and some of her skirt, which I've worked on. And this is page one, as far as I can remember. Or page four, I can't remember. But it's one of the pages anyway. And then I'm... F I'm soon through it so uh, so yeah um love working on her she's uh, she's really nice there's a lot of uh, beautiful colors in her um and i don't think there's many i don't think there's any karen water lilies or something in her i think mostly they are krennics um so so yeah but great fun to be working on her when i i get the mood for it and sometimes i, I just think i want to be over with gamer so i can start working on all these uh, uh smaller pieces because like when i see her she's uh, she's so cute and um so there's a lot of other things but I've just set my mind on that I want her famous gamer. So another one that I started on was um, was this one. Um, this is Cinderella. Also for uh, this is from Nor Corbett. I just needed a uh, Nor Corbett uh, or Mirabilia more. Um, and when I got out the colors for her, I was a bit disappointed. Um, I didn't, sorry, I'm just going to see if I can find it back. Hang on. Um, is this the one? Yeah. I didn't enjoy these pinks ones. Um, I think that they look a bit dull. Sorry, there's a lot of crinkling. But I think they looked a bit dull. I'm just going to see if I can find the, the colors which I chose not to use. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I think it's these ones. So these are the ones that you use in her dress here. And I just thought they were, yeah. It wasn't a Cinderella. I probably have the Disney Cinderella in my mind when I see her. But it wasn't the colors that I thought I would... They're really... How can I say it? A bit, bit 90, 80 likes the color. It wasn't really one that I was enjoying. So I have a bit of, done a bit of a convert version on her. And I'm just going to find what I've converted them to. Let's see if I can find the last one. Yeah, I 
Okay, it's those ones here. So, I have used instead of uh, these colors. So this blue, it's a uh, silk, and this blue, and this grey as far as I remember. I can't remember if it was another grey blue one. I am just trying to figure out. No, sorry, it wasn't that one. It has been, let's see, it's, it's this one up here so the these together these combined there are some bit of a difference on them and um i am um, at the same time i didn't really like the flowers either if you can see they're quite plain they don't really stand out so i have made my own decisions and tried and started off on her i don't know if it's going to work but this is a part of her dress and let's see if it's not it's the right way. As you can see, I have put a bit more color on her. And I'm hoping that this is going to be more more modern, more um, more somewhat um clear and bright and happy because that's how I see Cinderella. She's finally arrived at this big ball. I know that she's running away without a shoe, but but she's I think that the dress should be happy, not plain and boring and yeah. I'm keeping the greens. I like the greens in it. Um so I'm keeping those ones and I'm going to convert as I go. So I hope it's going to end up good. Otherwise I can frog out whatever I don't like. But it's the first time that I've really, really done this. Um, but I really, really didn't like the colors. So, and sometimes you just need to take a decision. So she's in progress, um, slowly and probably not one which is going to be, none of these ones, they're like extras. They're not going to be focused on. Um, so these are some smaller happy projects that I do once a while when I'm feeling it. So yeah, um, I then had, I then ordered some some kits, which are some stamp cross stitch from a from a store in France. I'm just going to pick this up. Um, I don't really have the other one. I think the other one has been packed down somewhere. Explanation later. But if they the store is called. Oralua premium cross stitch and I get some sort of ad uh, sent from them and I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting any more money for showing it this is Joy, Joy Sunday which has, uh, has uh, made these kits for them but as a difference the seller and the, uh, the seller and the uh, artist are being paid and I thought they were pretty expensive. I think they are around this kit that I have here. This this lady here, it was thirty seven euros. So it's almost like a dimension kit. Kit or it is like a dimension kit. But I thought uh, with selling uh, with the artists being paid and perhaps this was a bit better than normal. Perhaps uh, because everybody got a bit more money that the. Um, yeah, that the quality would be better for it being printed in 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 China and being a printed stamp kit. This is an eleven count, and um, as you can see, it comes like with this uh, front page. It has uh, just keeping it away. It has the uh, yeah the the screen ski scheme and this is an 11 count so that's good um and something positive is i think that this is real see see this is the good thread i've had some some stand kits where it's been really bad but this is really nice quality and really nice to work with it it is a bit thicker than uh, dmc 
but the quality of these fits are really really nice there's no fraying this there's no there's nothing i haven't had any weird frets coming in so it's really really good um, and you will see that with the stitches as well so i use three frets on on it and i think there's plenty of frets left left over and the funny thing is this has 64 colors so they've not uh they really done something towards that this is a this should be a premium kit um and the stamping of the cross stitch is really really good as you can see i haven't worked much on her but i love to work on her she's fun and she's uh, something you can work on in the car and as you can see the stitches are looking perfect they are nicely set, set on the canvas so really really enjoyable one one kit and one store that i would definitely recommend if you one who wants a stamp cross stitch i have another one with a wolf on it um which uh was an 18 count also stamp and i'm looking forward when this is done i'm going to do the other one and i think i'm going to look the make this into a pillow but i think she looks good and i think that she's not she's not precisely as uh, depicted on the on the picture but that's the, probably the painting of her but i don't think that it's that bad she's and uh, there's also the coloring of her skin is also affected by that the color of the background on the stamp kit will also shine through so she's probably going to turn out a bit different but definitely one that I would recommend. It's fun to work on and you can do it with a clean conscience towards uh, the, uh, that the artist has been paid for, for the work that she's put into her picture. So love it, definitely a good one. Um, that's all that I really during the last months or the months have been working on. Um, it sounds like I'm a bit... Uh, bit lazy but there's a lot of uh, stitches which has been gone into the um, the gamer and i am still training cross fitness five times a week um so and working full time and so i'm pretty proud of what progress i have made um so i think uh, just to give a short recap of um my current uh, situation and life and so on um, we're happy everything is great um, we are probably or we are in the last phases of um, making a uh, renovation and uh, um, a large renovation and uh, so and we're going to have uh, build a new living area in our house so we are probably we we have to have the, the summer they're going to start off with it and so we have to clean up more or less the whole house and um, store everything so i think uh, in relation to this i'm going to make some videos of my stash because <laughs> i'm probably going to have us uh, have all my stash out anyway so we can look through it um so that's the big news for me at the moment otherwise it's just uh, life and uh, being busy and uh, yeah um i think lay a lyle the last thing we are going to do today is i have a bit of a hole um, and one part of the hole i think is really really funny because i ordered some kits at um, cross stitch corner in germany and uh, they had some sort of secret um uh, yeah a, a, a secret um cross stitch kits where you choose where you paid i think it's 20 ever 28 euros and then you get three or four cross stitch kits of their choice you don't know where it, what it is or anything but it says there are some rare things and so on 
And I just want to show you one thing that I found. Yeah, one day I was bruising on the uh, on the side, and uh, they had a sale. They have a sale sale uh, section, and um, suddenly I saw this kit. Um, this is one of the Disney Dream Collection kits, which they sold for four euros, and <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this is an old kit." So as you can see. Everything is in it. It's uh, still, uh, um, yeah, it's old. And I think this is from, yeah, this is out of production, sought after. And it's really, really cute. So it's Beauty and the Beast. But this is 12 uh, euros 99. This was the original price I paid for. Quite a bargain. Also, if you find these on eBay, they sell for a bit more. So, uh, so I was a bit, um, bit happy to find it. Also, because I think this could be really fun to stitch as well. So, um, so I was a bit when I saw that one. I thought, yeah, let's try and give it a, a try because, as they say, there can be rare things on it. So, uh, let's let's dive into it. So, I think the most easiest part to do now is try and turn around the camera and uh, for you to follow along and i also have a couple of other kits from dimensions that i've ordered uh, i've ordered a bit more than that uh, uh, but they've been stored away um, during the last couple of months so we can have a look at them later i think when i do my stash video and the recap mm -hmm. so um i'm going to turn you around and i hope you will enjoy the unboxing because I haven't looked into it. I, I wanted you to have the real, my real, uh, yeah, my real uh, opinion about this, This if, is, if it is a fraud or if it's really, really good. So um, see you soon. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to post again, uh, to be quite honest. It's uh, we are on the way into the summer and uh, yeah, we are going on summer holidays. So probably first first in August, uh, I think I'm going to make a video and who knows, perhaps for, uh, perhaps it's going to be sooner if uh, we get told that they're going to start up much more way uh, for uh, way earlier than we expected. So but we so I'll talk to you soon and uh, have a really nice day and stay tuned if you want to see the whole of the unboxing. Bye! Yes, so I thought that I would just show you what I've got from Amazon. Um, this kit I have been looking at for quite a while. I think it's really really pretty and I've seen it stitched up and it looks fantastic. So um, finally pulled the trigger on it and yeah lots of uh, brown colors <laughs> as you can see and the black uh, black ada canvas this is a stitch on uh, probably a 60 count probably let's see can you see this doesn't really say i think this is in a 16 count 14 count, so it's even bigger, better. So a 14 count Ada, um, and one that I'm definitely going to stitch more sooner than later when I've finished the other one. <laughs> okay, well, then I also, this one I've been looking at also. Love it. Love all the flowers, and it's probably going to be really really bad i'm sorry for the glare i hope it's not too bad but love this one also on a base canvas 18 count um with lots of frets in happy happy colors so i think this is going to be one which would be really really fun to stitch also because of the colors in it um have you seen all the black background over there which you need to stitch I was thinking perhaps um, at some time, uh, perhaps um, trying to, you could do that and uh, try and try and see if you can dye the canvas 
and have all of this dyed instead of and then do the flowers and so on but i don't know um this is not one that i'm going to prioritize any time soon but it's gorgeous and i want to stitch it um then i'm just going to st i'm on the floor at the moment so i'm just going to stay sit sit down and i hope i'm not too far away so you can see my knee now so i opened just some of the box to From cross stitch corner so and i can already see the hidden um, uh, or the <laughs> a few selected ones so i'm really 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 surprised on what it is should we take that one last because i don't know what it is and um, these ones i've ordered myself so i'm just going to set this aside I have a couple of kits here. I'm just going to take it over here. So the first one is uh, this tiny little Luca S kit, which I really, really thought was quite fun and quite nice. Not too big. And um, I think I have over here, I have, mm, I have the price for it. So it is $3.99, so it was really, really, really cheap and um, quite nice. And I, I think I would never stitch it on this Ada, but uh, on something else and put it in, perhaps on a, on a hand-dyed fabric, it would be really, really cute. Just a little one. So that's good. And then I saw this one, which I loved and i think still when i see it now this is a luca s kit and i think it's beautiful and it comes with uh the ring and uh, this yeah and it's just it's really really gorgeous and i think i think it's, sorry again for filming but I, i'm really really i wanted to see the q Uku also because i think that's really really exciting because is this something which is of the quality that we want to hang up i think so i could i would hang this this is really really nicely done um so definitely one that i also am going to this is also one of those where i was i want to start it up as soon as it comes but i have to try and not do it so uh, but this is gorgeous and there's some other other of them um so and the skill level yeah it's on an it's skill level three so it's not that bad and does it say which kind of it doesn't really say but i think this is an 18 count without a doubt so beautiful have you seen the little B and yeah the small stones and yeah it's really really good love this one um then i i'm just going to take this off as well then i saw this one I think it was on a Facebook page where somebody has stitched it up and I've seen it before, but it's gorgeous when stitched up. It's, um, and it's not really that much stitching, I think, but that one is gorgeous. And uh, you can see it comes up with, uh, it comes with uh, all the thread organized and on a dove gray Ada and it's a 14 count. So not that bad but this is gorgeous look at these and her little wings and yeah it uh, it it is called fairy tales live on the roofs and it's a um, rto kit as well really really love that one happy to have that in my stash and then i saw um hand work maniac it's a friend that she's called she stitched this one and i I had to have it. It's so cute. <laughs> Roasted chicken with potatoes. 
it's <laughs> they're so cute and uh, definitely one that I'm also going to stitch those were really really cute and um, happy colors and yeah just on a ply a plain white Ada I think I would probably do something hand dyed as well perhaps on the Ada um it's gorgeous and lastly I found this one which is runaway puppies um this is i think a uh, full coverage on a dark ada it's on a 14 count ada um really really it looks like you're not going to stitch the trees and rest that you're going to stitch so that's almost full care full full coverage um but i love the puppies and i love the small houses and so on and then in some really good uh happy colors i'm i'm just in the mood for happy colors i don't want the dull ones at the moment so and then there was a gift i think they've given me a gift uh from crusty's cousin uh it's an it's a it's a yeah it's a small gift from them um some woolen um yeah so that's good love that um so let's get into the exciting part and see what we've got in here i don't know anything about it so i have no idea what is in it um and i just want to say how much i paid for it this wonder tutor 28 uh, euros yeah so um i don't know what's in it uh, let's uh, let's dive into it and see if we're going to laugh or if it's going to be really good so i'm just going to dig in i'm going to leave whatever is in here sorry again so let's start with the first kit Ta-da! Whee! small a princess kit with some small teddy bears uh, you can see this has cost 13 euros at some point. So there's a, there's a um, 18 count thing. Uh, yeah, and threads for it. Um, <laughs> not one that I would stitch normally, but um, anyway, it can go into perhaps uh, some sort of, sort of giveaway at some point if anybody wants to stitch some bears. Um, it's cute though. And it could be cute in um, uh, for a child or for just somebody who loves teddy bears. You can also just stitch this one or this one or this one. They're really, really cute. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Let's go into the next one. Voila. This is a permanent. And this is definitely not one that I would ever stitch. But as you can see, it's been, been taken down to 20 eight euros and it's been quite expensive um not one that i would ever stitch but there's some really nice uh nice fabric in it and some really nice threads as well uh this is a uh, permanent of copenhagen but i love the puppies though if you could do something else then i i don't like this one i don't know why the yeah but i love this part perhaps you could just put it and, and uh, yeah i don't know um but again uh loads of brilliant colors and for 20 yeah it's okay next one let's see it's, this is a big kit i think this is an anchor oh this is a anchor bullfinch and christmas decor tablecloth so here you can make your own tablecloth not one that i'm going to do either because i don't i don't do that but they're cute and for somebody who would like to do that that would be good i think i'm going to just put this uh, up at some point as a giveaway the last one let's see that's a booty thread that's a buffy thread not booty <laughs> Charles name this is uh building blocks it's also quite cute isn't it 
Um, again, I wouldn't really know what, um, who or what to stitch, but given that the, this has costed 24 euros, 33 euros, 28 euros, and 13 euros, this is for those who think that wants to stitch these kinds of things. It's not a bad buy, is it? Um, but there's nothing really that I would stitch. So for me, mm, not so good. Uh, but anyway, you can always, I could always use the thread for anything else. But I think, let me know if there's some of them that you wanted to stitch. And uh, we, I will see if there's a uh, room for a giveaway next time I'm on here. So yeah, but uh, it was fun. It was fun to try and do. Not I, I don't think that I will ever uh, order from this box again because this is um, not anything that I would stitch. So, but uh, fun and um, I hope you liked the video and I hope you liked uh, some of the kits. These are not my favorites, but the other ones is definitely one, ones that I'm really, really happy about. So see you soon. Uh, thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Bye for now.